James Elder for IFL TV. With me, I've got the new Commonwealth Cruiserweight Champion, Tony Conquest. How are you feeling, Tony? Top of the world, mate. Top of the world. Uh, tough, quite tough man, then your man. Yeah, very tough. Yeah, it's hard to see how he's been knocked out a couple of times. He's quite a tough old boy. Yeah, and awkward and crazy. Easy to say, but how much does it mean to you to win that Commonwealth strap today? Do you know what? It ain't quite sunk in yet, but I'm sure by the end of the week it will have. Was how hard would you compare this fight to some of the other fights you've had, Tony? Um, it was awkward more than anything. It was. Seemed to be in control throughout the fight. Yeah, I had to pick my punches. He's a different type of southpaw. You know, like he's a, he's a sit back counter puncher, like where Waddy's a come forward banger. This fella's like a sit back counter puncher. So it was a, it's a little bit different tactics. Being patient, that was the main thing. Trying not to rush in like a madman. Was that the words your team was reinforcing to you in the corner? Just be patient, pick your shots. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, don't rush in because I've done that before and I've paid the price for that. Understandable. Massive, massive crowd here at Liverpool on the box on for the Box Nation today. Must must feel good to be fighting such a good crowd. Ah, oh, terrific! The people here have made it just just made it my dream really today. The amount of cheering and oh, it was fantastic, brilliant. Coming up, we've got the small matter of uh, John Lewis Dickinson versus Neil Dawson. Can I get an opinion on that fight, Tony? Are you seen that one game? Do you know what? That's a 50-50. If Dawson and Dickinson have a tear up, I favour Dawson. But if Dickinson looks at what happened to me and Chris Keane against Dawson, then Dickinson should box and keep him long for six rounds, tire him out, and then probably grind him down, I reckon. If that fight was offered to you in a couple of months' time, would that be a fight you would consider? Definitely, yeah, I'd love to. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I leave it to my manager, Richard Clark, and keep him sorted out. And yeah, yeah, definitely. I if, wanna... I, if I can just bring in Richard yeah, yeah, Clark yeah, now, an yeah. emotional Richard Clark, may I say. How are we doing, Richard? Yeah, terrific. Yeah, composed now. Describe <laughs> what you're feeling to me at the moment, please, mate. Uh, I can't really, to be honest. It defies description. I, I have to say to you, if ever, if ever a young man, if ever, if ever anybody want an example to young people of how to conduct yourself and apply yourself and be disciplined and work hard and overcome setbacks and be thoroughly nice with it, then it's the new Commonwealth Cruiserweight Champion. He's 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 a dream to work with. He's such a nice lad and he works so bloody hard and um, the setbacks that he's had to endure with illness, with injury, with pullouts, boxing for very little money in front of small crowds and every single time this young man's pulled it back and he's come round and he's proved tonight what he's worth and no one deserves it more. And I, I have to say as well, I must say here and now, I'm absolutely delighted for Jason Rowland who, who puts so much work into these fellas, particularly Tony, Mitch, Miles, and uh, you know he, he deserves his plaudits as well because he's done a fantastic job, Jason. Where does he go from here now? A couple, couple of weeks off, week off, or is he straight back in the gym? What's Tony, the Co Tony Conquest. He, he would give himself if he had two days off. He would consider that a long break, to be honest. So he's just pushed out 12 rounds at a nice pace. To be honest with you, that sort of thing. How long he has off, we'll leave to Jason really and what he does. But you know the the idea is they said in there that he's a wanted man now well you know he's earned he's earned the right now to command a, a, a bit of a fee for his services and we'll sit down with them in the office and um, hopefully come up with something that can secure a nice down payment on an house for him and uh, make boxing worthwhile for him last word to you Tony Conquest uh, thank your fans thank everyone involved tell me tell me a little something just want to thank everyone. I want to thank AEM Demolition, West Cars, uh, everyone who turned up here today, everyone who watches Box Nation and I Film London. Just want to thank everyone for the support. It's been fantastic. I'm just over the moon. Listen, you are genuinely one of the nicest people in boxing, so well done on the win tonight. If anyone thank deserves you. it, you should. Can we get a round of applause for Tony Conquest, please? Thanks, Les. Thank you. Cheers, Tony. Thank Cheers. you, mate.